Here it comes. So we got Star Trek five on the bottom. Yep. And Star Trek three. Yep. This is where it gets controversial. And number four is. I said Star Trek, the motion picture. Okay. All right. Which you you love. <coughs> you love Star Trek. I do love Star Trek, the motion picture. I do. Permission to speak freely, sir. Granted. This this was really tough for me. Yeah. So so. And 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 to, to be clear, when we talk Star Trek, the motion picture. You're talking the original theatrical cut, right? Not the director's cut. The only one worth talking about. Yeah, you don't like the director's cut at all. No, and I'll right? no, and I'll tell you why. Um, there's a moment in there's a moment that they cut out of it that sh- we just talked about gravitas, right? And like the importance of stakes, and they're they're watching they're in the big room right they're in the big rec room all the whole crew's there Mm -hmm. and they're watching V'ger envelop that space station yeah Kirk says viewer off and in the director's cut Uhura goes and shuts it off but in the theatrical version she's so she's so spooked by what just occurred. Like, I mean, they just lost a, a space station. Yeah. She's just, she's floored by it. And so Kirk has to repeat his order sternly. And then she goes to shut it off, but she's still like watching it. She's still like. Yeah. You're off. You're off. Yeah, you you love the theatrical cut. You do not I do. like the director. Yes, that's true. I think it's it's slower moving, which is fine. Okay. It's uh, fine, but... It's, it's definitely slow paced. It is slow paced. I also am not a huge fan of... Uh, and I, 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 think I, I think you would say the exact opposite here. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of things... Of the costuming. I don't particularly like the love boat style kind of... <laughs> okay. Uh, kind of costuming. <laughs> um, I don't like... Uh, the darkness and the lighting in a lot of places, okay. um, especially on the bridge. There are some really bright rooms on the Enterprise for sure that have been rooms. It's uh, kind, of kind of a conference room area, but um, generally speaking, this is a very dark movie in its, in its <clears throat> lighting, and I, I'll, I, that's maybe one of my least favorite parts of, say, the third season of Picard, is how dark <laughs> the, it was the bridge very the dark. is. It's and, very dark. Uh, and Star Trek is uh, not itself a generally pretty dark property. Yeah. So I think up lighting <clears throat> would make sense kind of within that world a little bit. So I thought about this a lot as to where I would have to put this in my ranking. And and I, I, I think it's got to be number two. Okay. I don't think it can be number one. Five zero four. Three two nine. Three one seven. Five one zero. And the final sequence. I love it, but it's just and again for me, one and 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 two and four and six. It's like, like I mean like, they're all compact. Yeah. They're all very close together, whereas five is way down here, mm-hmm. three is much higher up for me, and then these four are all very high. No meaning. No hope. I think this is my second favorite. I, I think it's I think it's number two. People a lot of times complain about the glory shots of the Enterprise. Oh, no, I love that. Well, it's, I think it's really important for a couple reasons. Number one, you've got your original series, right? Yeah. And you're showing a new Enterprise. Yeah. Number two, we're going from a TV show to a movie. You get to see it really big. Yeah. And number three, thematically, you show all these shots of the Enterprise, which feels very large. But then later, as we're going through the cloud, we very see small. just how small the Enterprise really is compared to this huge yeah. villain. This type of villain that we couldn't do on the original series. Right. All the things that people complain about with this movie, I find to be strengths. I sense puzzlement. They don't like that 
you know, Kirk and McCoy and Spock are all disparate. Yeah. I love that. Will you please sit down? One of my favorite scenes is when Kirk is chiding Decker yeah. in his own quarters. <laughs> like he's he's just he's just, you know, giving him the business. And then Decker leaves yeah. and then McCoy comes down on Kirk. Yes. I mean it's not bad. Like I I, I really do enjoy it. Um, there's, I, I feel like I'm gonna change it to number one even while I'm talking. I, like, I, it, it's, it's one of those things that's like, when I, when I, when I think about the next generation, the next generation wished that it did with Riker and Troy what it does with Ilya and Decker. Yeah. I'm sorry. That you left Delta Four, or that you didn't even say goodbye. If I had seen you. I would you have been able to say it? No. And it did in insurrection. What I need, I can't get from Dr. Crusher. That's how long it took. In this movie, if they did it by the end of the movie. Well, I feel like there was a big will they won't they component. They, you know, with Sam and Diane. Kind no, of there wasn't. Had to drag it no, out. there wasn't. They, and they didn't drag it out. They did it all wrong the whole time, yeah, all the did, way through. They did, but... Because at the end, they were like, oh, how about Worf? That doesn't help your, no. So, I'm not done talking Let's about Star Trek, Star Trek 1. 1. So, Let's do it. So, it's, it's, because it, we got interrupted, it's. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? But I wasn't yeah. done. Um, what does Marcellus Wallace look like? But, I, I don't, I don't have too much more to say. Mr. Spock? It's the most sci-fi movie. Correct. It is, and it is the most Star Trek movie. Star Trek V is more family religious. And sort of religious is a little more I think it's more You're religious. You're right, this is the most pure sci-fi mm -hmm. Star Trek movie. Yeah. That measures 12 power energy. Uh, and it's, it's a hard sci-fi too. This yeah. is not for, this doesn't feel like a general audience movie. Right. This feels like a movie that was made for people who like Star Trek. Maybe even maybe even people who like sci-fi, like true sci-fi. Well, that's true. Yeah, I think, I think because there are people more... who don't like. St this isn't like a Trouble with Dribbles sort right. of thing. Mirror, mirror. Right. You know, it doesn't have. A, it doesn't feel like an adventure component. It, uh, it, right. It's it, it is slow. Yeah. yeah. It's it, maybe that's the thing. It's very different than the original series in some ways. In some ways, it's similar. I mean, the feature is maybe the kind of antagonist you would see in the original series. Mm -hmm. um, but it, the way it's presented is very different. There is an original series episode that has a that has an antagonist very similar to this. Right. It's, That's actually it's right. an episode yeah. called The Changeling yeah. near the beginning of the season two. And I remember watching that, and it felt like um, it felt like a really uh, it felt like they really wanted to make like this kind of villain, mm -hmm. but they weren't quite sure how to do it. I on on yeah. with that budget. Yeah. You are a biological unit. Kirk unit. Well, I am your creator. You are the creator. The carbon units know why the creator has not responded. Cool. All right. Well, like I said, Star Trek One. I think I got to put it number two though. I mean, I love it. It's real. It's it's like a razor's edge there yeah. between that and my number one. I mean, it just. I just think. Sometimes it's laborious. I can't watch it all the time. No. My number one, I could watch every day. And, and this one, I can't watch it like twice in a year. Transporter personnel reports the navigator, Lieutenant Ilea. She's already aboard and en route to the bridge, sir. I thought the teaching cinema that I was gonna go ba going back. I thought I was gonna hate Star Trek One. I loved it even more. I should have known. We see this design in the Enterprise in all the TOS movies, but it's a big departure from 
the design of the Enterprise in the, in the original series. Do you like this design or the original design better? I love this design better. I do too. And I think that that's a nice transition there, you know, with yeah. Decker as, as captain. Yeah. And he says, you know, this is a totally new Enterprise. You don't you don't know her a tenth as well as I do. And so there's there are things that, that Decker can do, like save everybody from the asteroid and the wormhole. Right. That, that Kirk can't necessarily do. You know, he's out of place. Yeah. Is he the dad from what? Seventh Heaven? Yes. No! And she, the She's mom, in was in Star Trek IV, which is our yeah. next. That's right, that's thing. right. Oh my gosh, I didn't make that connection. Wow. And so we've got our, we're gonna, we're gonna go with, we're gonna make our Seventh Heaven transition mm -hmm. from Star Trek I Completely to unplanned. Star Trek IV. Where can you go? I'm sorry if I embarrassed you.